हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू भोलानाथ अकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन एन एक्सपेरिमेंट 18.04 ग्राम ऑफ मैनीटॉल 18.04 ग्राम ऑफ मैनीटॉल वेयर डिजोल्ड इन 100 ग्राम ऑफ वाटर द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ वाटर वाज लोअर्ड बाय 0.309 पॉइंट मर्क्यूरी फ्रॉम सेवनटीन पॉइंट मर्क्यूरी Calculate the molar mass of mannitol. What will be the M2? This mannitol will be the solvent. Salute students. Please pay attention. So you have to find the M2 molar mass of mannitol. In experiment, 18.04 gram of mannitol were dissolved in 100 gram of water. Understanding students, the solution is there students. You have solution. In the solution students, you have W2 and W1. And it is forming the solution. Understanding students, weight of mannitol is given, that is 18.04 gram. You are dissolving in water. Understanding, it is forming the solution vapor pressure. Now the vapor pressure of water was lowered. That means there is a difference in the vapor pressure is given. Students, that is delta P, 0.309 mm mercury from. See students, when you have not added solute at the time water. Water is the issuance at the time water vapor pressure that is P0 is given to you. 17.53 mm mercury. You have to calculate the molar mass of mannitol. What will be the molar mass of mannitol in solution? Understanding issuance. So what will be the when you added issuance? What will be the molar mass of solute? Understanding. So issuance what is given first is write down. So here issuance second component is always here stands for what? Mannitol. So here the weight 18.05 gram of mannitol that is W2 is given. 18.04 gram dissolved in 100 gram of water that is w1 is also given in students 100 gram the vapor pressure was lowered that means delta p which is nothing but p0 minus p is given to you how much 0.309 mm mercury understanding students from 17 now here the vapor pressure of pure solvent is given 17.535 mm mercury Okay, students, we have to calculate the molar mass that is M2. Students, you have to calculate what will be the M2. Understanding, students. So, with the help of this data, students, you know, since you know this formula that is P0 minus P upon P0, which is equals to we also call as delta P upon P0, is always equals to X2, which is nothing but N2 upon N1, which is nothing but W2 upon M2 to divide with. W1 upon M1. Understanding students? So what happens students? You can say since you know students delta P upon P0 which is equals to W2 into M1 upon W1 into M2. Okay students? Now what happens students? Since you want M2. So understanding? So M2 will be M2 will students you have to do the cross multiplication and when you divide students it will comes to P0 upon delta P into W2 into M1 upon W1 understanding students so this way now put the value students just put the value what happens students here P0 is given 17.3535 is given students 17.535 into 18.3535 Zero four into eighteen upon this is the molar mass of water students that is m one is given to you now when you divide with point three zero nine into hundred okay students what happens students with the help of the log table students when you do it will come mostly one eighty four point three gram per mole so this way students you can calculate the molar mass of salute understanding that is the molar mass of mannitol so this way, way you have to students in examination you have to do this is very important students for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you